Here's the mindful man reading another chapter of Ghost School through his phone. Lucy left James sat on the bunk, amazed by what had happened. The next day over breakfast they exchanged furtive glances, but they didn't want to reveal what had happened between them. Anne was very chatty and unaware, and they both thought she had feelings for James, so they had to be careful. They didn't want to hurt her. Later that afternoon, they went for a walk. It was a lovely day, and they crunched through the woods. It was just like a beautiful day on earth, with the birds singing just as brightly and the leaves shining. It was difficult not to think of the past. Um, I'll go to the next bit. James thought of Lucy, but he couldn't help kissing Anne's soft lips. He was panting heavily and his head was spinning. Eventually, he prized himself away. Oh my God, said Anne, I can't believe we did that. I know, said James, but you definitely wanted to. I'm sorry, she said miserably. I fancied you the first time we met. James put his arm around her and tried not to feel like a love rat. That's lovely, he said, but we need to keep things quiet, he said. I don't want to hurt Anne. I don't want to hurt Lucy. But, oh my God, I'm getting confused. We have a good friendship between us that I don't want to spoil, he said gallantly. James was tired, so they hugged each other and Anne went back to her room with her head spinning from the excitement. As soon as James' head hit the pillow, he was asleep. He fell into a magical dream that was so real he wished he would never wake up. Anne pulled the covers up to her chin and said a quick good night to Lucy, but she was ob oblivious and snoring happily. In his dream, James was, James was in bed when he suddenly felt himself rising with the covers falling away, getting closer to the ceiling. Then he found himself floating down the stairs and through the door into the street. It was pitch black and there was no one about. It was a weird sensation like being on an invisible wave. He floated out in the deserted street and over parked cars. He sailed over them and looking down to see the frost glistening on their roofs like crushed diamonds. Then he sped up at lightning speed and he could see the road flashing by, passing by in a flash. Then a bicycle lay in the road. He immediately recognised the model. Further down the road he saw himself laying immobile and at that moment he was pulled back at incredible speed and he landed back in his own body with a bump. He woke up bathed in sweat. The next day he told Anne and Lucy over breakfast about his dream. They listened avidly and said, It's good you were reminded of the past, however difficult, said Anne. I don't know about that, said Lucy. James left, well it was definitely freaky, he said, and so realistic. Hope you enjoyed this chapter from Ghost School. I got confused in the beginning, so it's just like a selection. Please submit.